The Cancer Capricorn axis is related to understanding who you are internally, what you need, what gives you that foundation and also tunes in to who you are, what you're feeling, what's happening within you so that you can take care of it, you can nurture yourself, you can be in a place of self-honoring of your needs and then that allows you to go out into the world, which is Capricorn, to show up in your job, in your profession, in your career to contribute from a place of knowing who you are and being in your strength. Now this is the energy as well of the parents, meaning it's about how you were tended to and cared for when you were younger. It's how your needs were honored or heard. It's also about how you felt emotionally safe in the world. Cancer is about how we take care of who we are and what we need on a daily basis, even as we move amongst bigger energies and bigger cycles. So cancer is how you take care of yourself when you're having a great day. Your energy is high, you're feeling good, you had a great lunch, you're ready to keep going and to move through your day and you've got like an extra bounce in your step. Well, what happens when you have a bad day, a hard day, an emotional day, tough conversation, something hurts your feelings, something comes up that doesn't feel good? How do you then take care of yourself as well? And cancer is about how we navigate through that, how we continue to honor what we're truly feeling internally and allow that to be a part of our truth, to not feel like you have to diminish how you're feeling or you have to push it away or ignore it. Rather, cancer says, no, let's bring it front and center. Let's hear it out. Let's honor it. Let's allow those feelings to be valid and just allow them to flow through as well. Then what we do on the other side of this axis with Capricorn is we understand what really matters for the long term. So Cancer is about the everyday fluctuations of energy. Capricorn is about putting your sights on what you can build and develop for the long term. It's also about how you show up in your mastery, how you show up with your purpose and understanding of what you're good at, how you're capable of performing, getting things done, being a master in your own life and in your own world. Capricorn is also about how we mature through life, how we mature through life experiences. Capricorn can handle those tough days and those hard knocks. Capricorn keeps going and says, okay, it was a rough day, a rough week, a rough year. I'm gonna keep my sights on the next goal. I'm gonna stay steady, stay on that course, and not allow it to detract me or to take away from what I want to experience and accomplish in this lifetime. Now that Capricorn energy can be very determined and ambitious. It's very aware of what it is doing in the world, whether that's showing up at the desk, understanding your job title and your responsibilities. Capricorn is also about how you're managing your life, managing everything in your world. And even though that Capricorn energy is very tough and strong, you need downtime. You need the weekends. You need vacations. You need time to just come back to yourself. And that is where Capricorn then returns to Cancer. Because Cancer is about having time on the couch, allowing your schedule to be empty, not taking care of everything for everyone, in fact, it's about then prioritizing your own needs and understanding that that matters too. So it can be like if you're working really hard in that Capricorn mode, well, you do need time to sleep well, understand your energy, listen to what's happening inside of you and to honor that. So Cancer is about coming back home to yourself, especially after maybe exerting yourself or being very intense and focused on certain endeavors. Cancer says, well, come back and listen. Give yourself a break and some downtime and understand more of who you are and honor that without being only focused on everyone else or what you're doing in the world or what you need to get done next week. Now, this energy is also the axis of not only your own internal world and what you're doing publicly, but it can relate to how you felt nurtured and supported when you were younger. 
as that cancer energy is very soft, sensitive, and kind, and it needs to be tended to and cared for. But the cancer energy needs to mature. It needs to mature so that it can handle what happens in the real world. Because if that energy is too sensitive, too vulnerable, even too soft, it can become very defensive. And it's defending that energy that can feel too intense, too harsh. But we know that the real world is filled with all kinds of energies. And so cancer matures through understanding that it's okay to develop a thicker skin. In fact, it's necessary. It's also necessary to not take things personally, to not be overly emotional when it isn't necessary or it's not the right time and place. Capricorn can mature this cancer energy. Capricorn can help the cancer energy step back, detach, don't take it on, don't absorb it, don't assume it's about you, don't, and look at where you are sensitive. Look at where maybe your guard goes up because that would tell you where you're ready to establish some more boundaries. And that is something that Capricorn can assist Cancer with, establishing necessary boundaries. Cancer is a caretaker and it will support and accommodate people very willingly. Cancer is also wanting to feel good. So it feels good to give. It feels good to connect. Capricorn, on the other hand, will put up a boundary, a healthy boundary, and say, well, you know, they can do that for themselves. They can make their own dinner tonight, or they can take care of that part of the project. You don't have to take it all on. So Capricorn provides that counterpoint to where the Cancer energy might be giving too much or feeling too much out of a desire for connection, out of a desire to relate, and Capricorn is where we understand, I don't have to do it all for everyone. In fact, I can gift them with their own autonomy. I can gift them with the ability to figure it out on their own terms and in their own way. And I can allow that to be something that I step back from. So this Capricorn energy can be a wonderful balancing point to Cancer. And it can help you in understanding more of where your energy goes where it's needed, where it's necessary, but also where you're not responsible and it's not yours to take on. So this is a wonderful access point to understand, especially if you have a lot of Cancer in your chart or a lot of Capricorn, because this can help you identify where to come into greater balance, where that Cancer energy needs firmer boundaries, perhaps needs to care less, needs to step back, and not be the mother or the caretaker or overly nurturing to allow others to do their own thing. And also if you have a lot of Capricorn, this is where you could understand if you've become too hardened, if the weight of the world has become too much, if you have too many responsibilities and to look at where do you need support? Where do you need a helping hand? Where do you need nurturing and self-care? And those are the strengths of cancer that you can invite into your energy or into your space to balance out anything that might be too extreme on either sides of the coin. So this is a good energy to understand in yourself. It's also good in understanding how we maintain this balance, how we work with the strength of both sides of these energies, allow them to coexist, allow them to be in their strength, and also how we can continually energetically balance ourselves as needed and as necessary. So I'll be doing more of these videos for you on these polarity signs, how to work with them, as well as their access points, what they have in common, and what is good to understand about them in your chart and in your energy.